I use my work as a way to just talk, speak. Visually, like that's the best way I know how to connect with the world, to communicate how I'm feeling, how I think about life. My name is Letapo Huma and I am 24. I was born and raised in Mabupane in Pretoria. I lived with my grandmother, uncle and mother. And that's practically how I grew up. It was just me and my small family. I spend most of my days playing in my grandmother's garden. My grandmother's garden has definitely influenced like a lot. I learned how to nurture, like I learned how to decorate. I learned how to just make a place look beautiful and I feel like that translates into my art. So mostly like my inspiration just comes from life. I discovered digital art in university. When I signed up for the module, I was actually having a conversation with one of the lecturers and she explained to me how it worked. And I'm a lover of art and technology and I'm like, exactly. This is what I've been looking for. I realized that it was my purpose in a weird way. Like it felt like it was the one thing I, I knew that I was meant to be doing. Like I felt very comfortable doing that. I felt very at peace. I don't know what I would be doing you know, if I wasn't exposed to smartphones, especially my iPad and stuff like that. I think it exposes us to the rest of the world. Even if you're just seeing it like on the other screen, you get to see a lot more of the world. The, the digital world has created so many different career options for us, especially in Africa. We have vloggers, we have makeup artists, we have podcasters, um, we have content creators, you know, which is such a big industry right now. I've definitely seen there is a gender divide when it comes to mobile coverage i think specifically in south africa there's a lot of cultures we're very cultural people and in in a lot of our cultures women aren't able to work meaning they can't you know make their own money meaning they can't get phones be independent basically so they're kind of like dependent on their partner or spouse i've experienced that and i've seen that from many many different families and households so i'd say that there is that gender divide and i think culture plays a big part in that honestly i think it's important that it changes because everyone has to have an equal opportunity at life how many things they're exposed to you need to be able to have access to anything and everything when you are connected you get to, you get exposed to those things because you see women like you doing those things and you're like hang on a minute i think i can do that that's what happened with me like when i saw alexis franklin when i saw karabo poppy like all these artists i'm like no oh, man this you, i can actually do this you know and make a living out of this when i began i i didn't look at my work or my career really as something that would inspire influence other people or challenge anything really also just sharing my work online um, you know, many of us just share our work online because it's, it's a place where you can just go and dump how you're feeling really. That's how it started. I never really had a solid idea or a plan. I think what really changed it for me was when, especially like much younger girls like coming to me and they would tell me that you're doing so amazing actually considering like studying digital arts or they'd ask me to mentor them and things like that. So then that's when I knew that, oh, actually this thing is, you know, much bigger than me. Like it's, it's influencing other, you know, people, you know, that made me feel really really good the inspiration behind the piece is about just how much uh, technology has changed a lot of our lives and how much it's empowered us you know um, especially as African women I'm definitely using real life examples in my work you know I mentioned your, your different youtubers your different podcasters because I spend a decent amount of time online <laughs> You know, listening to different podcasts when I'm working, watching different YouTube tutorials. So definitely, I draw a lot of the inspiration from them. For me, color changes a lot uh, just throughout the process. I'm at the stage where the composition is done and I'm just about to actually begin with color and just tweaking here and there. I think I chose specifically um, this piece to be like a very positive piece because when I, you know, think about digital arts and my journey into the digital world, I feel very happy. So I based it off just how happy I've been, like ever since I've been in the space, yeah. I've built really great friendships with people that I've met online. I would have never uh, met them. Also just my work, my career is literally lives off the internet. You know, it's because of connectivity, it's because of technology that I am doing what I'm doing. You know, without it, it wouldn't survive. 